Hey guys, good morning. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a potato waffle because I finally figured it out and it's like day 27 or 28 of the potato cleanse. And I wish I would've figured this out a long time ago because they are delicious. So I'm gonna walk you guys through it. This is kind of a recipe video, but it's not as fancy as my other ones because I feel like this involves a lot of talking and explaining just so that we get it right. Here we go. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just take this potato, peel it, cut it into cubes, and then boil it. The sun is my face, so I'm feeling alright. Malibu by the beach, yeah, I'm living a life. Got this girl in my palm, she's a spark in the night. No work in the morning, I'ma do as I like. The life of the party. So I just bring these to a boil and then cover them and let them cook for like 10 minutes until they're really, really soft. I like them when they're really, really soft because then you don't have to add any water or anything when you mash them. With this recipe, the one thing that we want to avoid is a lot of excess water because that's what's going to make it stick in the um, waffle iron. So if you just boil them until they're very, very soft and then you mash them and you don't add a lot of excess liquid, it seems to come out pretty perfect. So these are boiling, so I'm just going to turn this to low and put a cover on it. The next thing that we want to do is preheat our waffle iron. So we actually got this waffle iron for free from one of our amazing subscribers. She got two for her wedding and she gave us this one because she was just going to give it away to the Goodwill. So she sent it to us, which is like the nicest thing ever. And the one that we have is ceramic. So I think that it works better than like the non-stick ones, but I've seen people in the group using the non-stick ones and they work as well. The thing is you want to turn it to high because the point of this whole thing is to just bind all of it together and you do that by making the outside crispy. We don't need to cook the inside because it's already cooked, so we just want to brown the outside of it. So just put it on high. So you're just going to want to put it on high and preheat it. All right, so these have been cooking for about 10 minutes. See how soft they are? That's pretty much how soft we want them, just super soft. So you're just gonna drain out all of the water. Actually, I would leave probably just like a tiny bit, maybe leave a tablespoon or two. And then for mine, I put a tiny bit of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and salt in here. And then I'm just gonna mash it up. So maybe like a fourth of a teaspoon of everything. And then I just basically mash it until it is smooth. So this is how dry we want it. We don't want it to be very wet or else it just is not going to cook well. We just basically want to be able to get it into a form formable mash and then place it into our waffle iron. I just use a spatula like this because it's easiest and put it in the waffle iron. And you want to also get it all the way to the edges. Just kind of form it as you go. Make sure that it's pretty even all the way around. Usually it's gonna be like a little bit thicker in the middle, but just get it as even as you can. So once I've got it like that, the way that I want it, basically I just shut the lid as tightly as I can. And then we're just gonna let it cook for about 10 minutes. I'll show you what I do to make sure that it's done. If you see it smoking like this, don't worry about it. That happens. These things aren't really made for uh, potatoes. If you want to see how it's doing, um, you can open it. That's what mine looks like so far. I want it browner though, so I'm going to let it keep going. So, Alright, taking it out of here can kind of be a different thing because it depends what type of waffle maker you have. Um, but mine, I basically just flip this thing over and there you have the infamous potato waffle 